Elon Musk unveiled new battery that destroys everything. Elon Musk has one of the most exciting business portfolios on the planet. There's SpaceX with its Mars mission and Tesla with its super-fast, high-tech electric vehicles. He claims that his Hyperloop concept has the potential to revolutionize public transportation. So, who will have the greatest impact on the world? We believe it will be his battery business. In this video, we'll take a look at everything you need to know about the new solar battery. Elon Musk is well known for his lofty goal of converting the world to sustainable energy. Musk is so convinced of this concept that he has made it the mission statement of the electric vehicle company he founded. Musk clearly believes that EVs are critical to achieving this goal. Elon, on the other hand, understands that EV are only as clean as the grid from which they draw power. Tesla also provides solar products and batteries to address this issue. Tesla currently sells solar panels that can be added to an existing roof as well as roof tiles with integrated photovoltaic cells. Because the sun does not shine continuously throughout the night, Tesla also provides stationary batteries to store excess solar energy and deploy it when needed. Elon Musk has previously stated, solar power is a gigawatt per square kilometer. All you need is a 100 by 100 mile patch of desert in Arizona, Texas or Utah to power the entire country. Although Musk's assertion has been questioned for its practicality, it is clear that Musk believes solar panels are the way forward for a clean power grid. This is why Musk's recent support for nuclear energy is so intriguing. Nuclear power, unlike solar, is not entirely sustainable. Nuclear power plants do, in fact, reduce carbon emissions. However, nuclear power plants emit highly radioactive and hazardous byproducts. Furthermore, nuclear power plant meltdowns pose a significant environmental risk. One notable example is the Chernobyl disaster, which forced tens of thousands of people to evacuate and cost tens of billions of dollars to clean up. Nonetheless, Musk believes that existing nuclear power plants should be kept operational. Nuclear power plants should not be shut down unless they are vulnerable to extreme natural disasters, according to Musk in a tweet. This is certainly an unusual stance for the world's leading proponent of solar panels. But Musk may have taken this stance to alleviate power shortages until solar panels become widely adopted. Tesla wants its massive supercharger network to be powered by solar batteries, allowing it to disconnect from the electric grid which is powered by natural gas and coal. As part of that goal, Musk stated on Twitter that Tesla is currently installing solar panels and batteries at its supercharger stations. Musk stated, all superchargers are being converted to solar or battery power. Almost all will eventually disconnect from the power grid. Tesla's network of superchargers will be expected to double by the end of this year, can restore 170 miles of range in just 30 minutes, making it one of the company's most valuable customer benefits. Musk made the announcement in response to a Twitter user's criticism that Tesla's superchargers use dirty energy. According to the Washington Post, natural gas currently powers 34% of US electricity, followed by coal and nuclear power. Although electric vehicles continue to reduce overall vehicle emissions, UC Davis experts have discussed the importance of decarbonizing the electric grid. Vehicle electrification has the potential to reduce vehicle energy consumption and CO2 emissions. UC Davis wrote in its 2017 report, Three Revolutions in Urban Transportation. However, in order to reap the greatest benefits from electrification, power generation must be strongly shifted away from fossil fuels and deeply decarbonized. In some areas, Tesla has recently begun offering electric vehicles with a new battery chemistry, lithium iron phosphate. While it is not new in terms of vehicle development and deployment, it is new to some Tesla vehicles in specific areas. Musk claims that the company may now pursue another chemistry that uses a manganese-based cathode. All of this points to graphene batteries as the electric vehicle's future power source. However, one single and critical factor is preventing this revolutionary technology from becoming a reality cost. Graphene is and will continue to be a costly material to mass produce. As a result, lowering manufacturing costs is crucial to the future of graphene and its batteries. Several research groups have publicized papers on promising manganese-rich cathode batteries, which could offer interesting alternatives with higher energy density than iron phosphate batteries and potentially lower cost than nickel-rich batteries. Manganese is already used in some Tesla battery chemistries, but it is not a major component of any of them. 
For example, NMC Chemistry used a lot of manganese and Tesla previously used the chemistry for its power wall. In the original Leaf battery, Nissan also used a manganese-rich cathode. The CEO emphasized the importance of focusing on battery mineral supply to accelerate the transition to electric vehicles and renewable energy. The Chinese news agency Xinhua is largely to blame for rumors that Tesla is working on a graphene battery. Why? In 2014, the news outlet reported that Tesla was developing a graphene battery that could nearly double the Model S car's range to 500 miles. With no new details on Tesla's graphene plants, interest in the 500-mile battery has dwindled. Tesla batteries manufactured by Panasonic have a maximum range of 330 miles among the company's top-tier models, according to sources. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.